Hunt, um, you guys have had a, a couple of really encouraging performances lately, but this is the first win. What was the difference tonight? Um, I thought we started the game with a really uh, good defensive disposition. I know we, we, we talk about it, but tonight, I mean, we're playing against the best team in basketball. I think our uh, antennas were up, but we got to do that every night. We got to do that every night. I'm not taking away from this win, but we got to do that every night. Uh, but I thought our guys competed. Like I said, this team is this team has firepower. This is a championship level team. I know we I've been saying that a lot lately because we played, you know, the three of the top four teams in basketball. We're going to play the next one in a few nights, but it was a good win. I thought we competed. I mean, we still we knew going into this game, like I said, this team is the best three-point shooting shooting team in basketball. And I knew we're not the the best shooting team in basketball. I knew that we we're going to have to really scrap and get to the free throw line. And I thought our guys did. We uh, gave us itself a chance, gave ourselves a chance by getting to the line, kind of offset their three point shooting. And uh, we ask you every time there's a loss, so we got to ask now, but you were finally able to get Brad a win when he scored 40. How's, how was that nice for him? Yeah, it was good. I, f I finally found the recipe. I need to have Russell score 35. If you do that, there's a good chance you win, right? It was good. You know what? I mean, we had the, we had the game one when he had a big game. I think it was against um, against Boston. But Brad plays the right way. There's certain nights he gets 25, and certain nights he gets 45. But Brad Brad can score. If he just wanted to score, he can score a large number every night. But Brad wants to play the right way. He's doing a great job of leading our young guys. I know we've had a tough stretch here, but he showed and Russell they've they've showed great leadership. Uh, they're not going to let go, let go of the rope. They're going to keep, you know, helping pull this team uh, in the right direction. But his scoring, I mean, it, it looks, I mean, I've been around the game a long time. It looks easy, but what he does is really incredible. It's tough. Tough footwork is just impeccable. His timing, his reads, and they're big. They do a great job of setting screens. And then we get the ball to him on time and on target. Jason. Thank you. Uh, obviously, Brad uh, really erupted in the second half scoring wise. What do you think of his first half? It, it seemed like he, he was helping in other ways. Yeah, I mean, there's sometimes, I mean, we don't never say I'm going to, we use him as a decoy, but he has a lot of, uh, a lot of heat around him. He's always going to have guys close to him and, and, and if guys are – his man is guarding them close, there's going to be a lot of other um, eyeballs on him. And it allows the other guys to step up. I thought I thought, I thought, thought they did. I thought everybody – I mean, Russell, Russell started the game off attacking, being aggressive, and he was making his shots from the perimeter. And he's uh, getting to the line and he's making his free throws the last couple of games. And he's made some adjustments, and hopefully that's, that's who he is the rest of the way. But – it helps us. It helps us when they're when they're both aggressive and they but because they play the right way, they they move the ball, they share the ball, and they they can make plays for their teammates. You mentioned um, the start for Russell. You know, it was just last night he was saying that he felt like it was his responsibility to lead you guys out of this. Um, the way he started the game, did that kind of match up with with what he said? Do you think? Yeah, I mean, he's. I know that's what he is. I've been around him now for. Or coach him for what now eight years um i've seen it i've seen it i've seen some we've had a lot of good times together and we had a lot of rough moments together and i know when you're in a rough moment russell westbrook is the guy you want to be with because he's going to keep pushing his teammates he's going to keep playing aggressive and he's going to keep leading this team and you know brad brad is, is he's he's i mean he's steady eddie he just gets out there and just plays basketball the right way and he never gets too high and never gets too down. And, and those are, those are, those two guys are to me, I mean, it's his last five games after the break has not been easy with the, with the talent that we had to play against. And, you know, but I think they, they've done a good job of staying with it. We had some tough couple of good breaks or a couple of things go our way. We would have had to win last night, but it didn't. And we didn't, we didn't pout. We just came back the next day and, and competed.
against the best team in basketball. Fred. Hey, Scott. Uh, when, when Brad and Russell are working really well together, what, what are they doing right in those kind of chemistry moments when they're, when they're sharing the offense so well? Yeah, they, they, they surprisingly, um, I thought it would take, you know, some time, but it, it connected pretty early and, and they, they've done it with a, a very young front line. And a lot of times that's not easy. And then, you know, with, with TV going down and they've done it with uh, a centers by committee and that's not always easy. But I think they have a good feel for one another. Russell's always Russell's a winning basketball player. I know we all we all judge people differently. Uh, but look what he's done. He's been to a lot of conference finals. He's been to one NBA finals. But a lot of people don't want to give him the credit that he's one. He's going to go down as one of the best point guards in the history of the game, and because of because of his work ethic and his determination and his pride and his, his drive and I, him and Brad, they're winners. And, you know, we're going to keep building or, around those two and hopefully we can get some wins and, and our guys will continue to improve that, that are the ones that need to get better and, you know, going forward. And I thought Rui has really stepped up the last three or four games and tonight, seven rebounds and those those are good rebounds we needed every one of them and defensively i thought he was solid and this is a hard team to guard like i said they they have a big time rollers and favors and and rudy and and they have three-point shooters all the way around they shot 48 threes tonight and it didn't look like they were jacking up shots they were all just um veteran plays and i mean by that they they're they know how to space they know where to be and they they know angles of screens. They know timings of, they trick you. They, they make you, um, put you in a really ugly pickle. And but I thought Rui did a good job of managing all that. And, and I got to know on that Robin Lopez tomahawk dunk, did he clear the South Dakota phone book? Jeez, what do you think? I think it's, I think he just got over the Wyoming one. According to him, that's the least populous state at 597,000, right? That's what he said. I know. I mean, I, I, I follow him on Twitter. Nice guy. All right. Matt Paris. Um, I'm going to ask you for your burner now. Um, just uh, what did you make of the way that, uh, you know, Utah made a run, they cut it to eight, but it never seemed like you guys let it go really any further than that. Just what did you kind of make of that response and what do you attribute that response to? Well, I thought, I thought we knew, we knew this team. I mean, like I said, this team has the best record in basketball. They've been through a lot of playoffs ups and downs and, and they, you know, they feel that they're ready to take the next step and win it all this year. And they have, they have everything. They have all the pieces in place, but we knew after halftime, they were going to come out. I thought they came out. I thought we were a little lackadaisical, but it wasn't really just all us. They came out and they really executed and made some tough shots and, and plays. And, and we turned it over a few times, but I thought we bounced back. There was a couple of runs that they had in that third quarter, but we ended up tied in the quarter, 36 apiece. And, and we knew that they weren't going to stop again, but they came out and attacked and they got to the free throw line. They got 40 points in that fourth quarter. It wasn't an ideal closing game for us, but, we did enough to win the game and now it's on to the next one and and Brooklyn's not going to be easy. Do you have any update on uh Bertan? Bert, I no, I don't know. I mean, I think he he hurt his um his the same calf again, right? Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, that's usually not a a great sign when you re-injure it again, but we hope for the best. Uh, obviously, we need a shooting but I thought a guy stepped up. And the other guy I, I told in our meeting today with the group watching the film, and I said, we need to get back to, to being a, a, a scrappy team. And we've, I've seen enough. You guys need to feel that same way. And, and Bongo, you better be ready to play tonight. And I thought he came in and responded and gave us some 
physical minutes, and we need Bonga to do that. And I think he's he did that tonight. So with with DB, you know, don't know what's going to happen. We need the other guys to step up. We keep talking about it, and he did it. He did tonight. He gave us great minutes tonight. Thank you. All right, we got a couple more, Neil. Hey, Scott, with about seven and a half minutes to go, you were talking to Denny uh, on the sidelines. I'm curious just what you were trying to express to him in, in this, you know, continued development process for him. Yeah, I mean, Denny, Denny is, there's a lot being thrown at Denny. I mean, we don't, we sometimes, even myself, I'm the biggest culprit. I push him and I, because I got, I got a lot of pride in, in, in his development and I wanted him to keep pushing forward and, and so he has a lot, he has a lot of going on. This game is fast and there's a lot of good players and he's in a really uh, high level position, but I, we, it was, it was a screen and I thought he was, he was late with his communication. And when you're late with your communication, your switch partner is not going to be able to get under. And when you're playing against a veteran team, that's all it takes is a split second. And you need, you need that split second so you can, uh, Perform the coverage, and I thought he he gave Brad a a late a late uh, verbal, but I but it's something that I just told him. I said, hey, you got you saw it, you see the whole play develop. You got to be able to call it out, you know, continuous, loud, and make sure they hear it, so we can do the coverage and we can give ourselves the best chance. But like I said, it's all it's a learning process with Denny and Rui, and that's the fun part about my job. We got to keep building and keep giving them confidence, but keep making sure that they don't just waste minutes uh, night in and night out. Brad, you guys have um, obviously put forth a couple of really good efforts lately, but what was the difference tonight in being able to kind of put away the win? Uh, first praise my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Um, well, as I mean, it was our defense. We, we guarded for 48 minutes. Uh, I think we did a good job of just, just disrupting them. That's the, that's the best team that came here in the league right now tonight. And, uh, we just did a good job of making them uncomfortable and, uh, and making sure that we executed on the offensive end. You know, we were making sure everybody was involved. Um, but it was definitely our defense that, that definitely won us a game. That's a no-brainer. On offense, you and Russ were obviously so complimentary. What was working there for you guys kind of playing off of each other tonight? Uh, I mean, that's just that's growth, you know. Uh, He's, he's easy to play with, you know, because he understands the game. He's very unselfish, and I feel like I'm the same way. So it's just it's just, a, it's just a feeling out there. It's not like we tell each other what to do or, you know, certain stuff we may see. We try to, you know, we, we may teach or say, watch out for this or look at me here, certain spots. But more or less, it's just, it's just reactionary. You know, we just understand uh, where each other will be on the floor, where we like the ball, and it's, it's, been, great. it's been great to see and, and be a part of. Hey, Brad, uh, 43 points for you, uh, 42 for Donovan Mitchell. W what was it like battling him tonight, two all-star guards? Oh, it was tough. You know, he's, he's a great he's a great player. He's an all-star for a reason. Uh, you know, and when he gets downhill, man, he's, he's one of the best guards in the league. You know, granted, he loves his three ball, but, you know, I feel like he's, he's very dangerous when he's attacking downhill. Uh, you know, especially at bigs. So, you know, we we just tried to contain him as best as we can as we could. I think in the first half we did a good job of that. Second half he kind of got going, got loose. Uh, but you know, we, we respect his game and respect what he's capable of doing. Uh, but I think we did a good job of, of trying to control him, I would say. And uh, I'm not sure if you're aware, but you had um your last 11 40 point games that the, the team had lost and, and that was an NBA record. And uh, tonight that streak was broken. What was it like just whether you're aware of that record or not to, to have that streak broken? The only reason I'm aware of that record is because you all make it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, it's great to, to cut that, that streak off. So, Fred. Hey, Brad. Um, Russell is was nine for 11 from the line tonight. He was nine for, for 12 last night. And he's been going through his free throw struggles this year. 
I'm just wondering, have, have you ever had a point where you've kind of gone through a slump at the line, whatever the numbers might've been in those moments? And if so, is there anything different about slumping at the free throw line, just with how like mental that can be compared to other sorts of slumps you can fall into? Uh, free throws is all mental, mental and mechanics to me anyway. Uh, I haven't always been a great free throw shooter. Like I think I've only been averaging in the eighties the last two years, maybe if that I've been shooting high seventies, uh, you know, in previous years before that. So I wouldn't call myself a great uh, free throw shooter until honestly this year, maybe last year. Uh, but it's all mental. Like it's just a confidence thing going up there and knocking them down. Uh, everybody's different. You know, everybody's, everybody's routine is different. Everybody's rhythm is different. Everybody's mechanics are different. Everybody's thought process is just different. Uh, but, you know, I feel like he's been actually making us, making a lot of them his last couple of games, which has been good for us because uh, he gets there a lot. But he, he knows that, you know, we don't need to kind of put more fuel on that fire. You know, he, he already knows what he needs to do and what he needs to get better at. Uh, it's one of the areas, but, hell, we all do. So. Chase, you have another question? Uh, yeah, Brad, just uh, the way Russ came out there in, in the first quarter and, and in the first half, what did that do to lift you guys? Well, he was carrying us. You know, he was uh, – he had it going. Uh, he had a rhythm, and, you know, we it wasn't broke. We didn't fix it. So, you know, we stuck with it, allowed him to be aggressive, allowed him to attack, and uh, and everybody else was just ready to go when, you know, when their time came. So uh, it was it's great to be able to see him. I, I love when he's aggressive. Um, and shooting the ball because uh, it makes us it, it spreads the floor out makes everybody have to be respected he gets more open driving lanes that way so you know it's uh i'm happy for him and uh we just got to keep it going we both understand that you know the ship isn't gonna move unless we're, we're steering it so last question to brianna hey brad uh so going off the statement you have fun, you, you win because you have fun, or because you have fun, you win. What viewpoint do you take, especially after tonight's game and going forward? Oh, uh, both. I mean, I always look at it as, you know, this is a game we're all blessed to play. So, you know, I always, I always try to have fun with the game. You know, the results would be what they are. You know, I don't predicate being happy or being proud with wins and losses. Granted, nobody likes to lose, but, you know, Ultimately, that's a blessing to play this game, regardless of what your record shows. Uh, you know, to be a part of some of the best guys to ever touch a ball. It's only 450 guys in the NBA. Uh, something I always try to emphasize to my AAU kids and guys I try to mentor is, you know, it's, it's tough to be here. It's tough to make it uh, and it's tough to stay, you know. So uh, just counting that blessing and realizing that being here in itself is, is an opportunity that you should be grateful for and happy about. Uh, and at the same time, when you're winning, it, it definitely creates joy uh, within the team in the locker room. But I think nonetheless, just being where we are in the position we are in, you know, embrace who we are and what we do. And uh, the rest take care of yourself. Rui, uh, you know, we saw on, on TV, there was a moment where Russ was kind of uh, demonstrating something to you during a, a timeout. Um, what, uh, I guess what was what was he trying to tell you in that moment, and, and how his his tutelage kind of helped you this year? Oh, you know, um, he was just telling me like, you know, because I when I drive, you know, I show the ball too much, so he was just telling me like, you know, just bring the ball higher, so you know they can't get it, you know. But he been telling me those kind of stuff, you know. He been teaching me like a lot of stuff, you know. It's actually been helping, you know, especially like he's really um, he's a really great great driver. Um, you know, I'm the one of the guys, you know, I could drive and shoot and all the kind of stuff. So like, you know, it's been, it's been great actually. He, he been teaching me a lot of stuff, a lot of trick, you know, those kind of stuff. And yeah, that was the one of the, part, that was a part of it. And what do you, what do you think allowed you guys to, you know, get off to such a good start tonight and able to maintain that to the end? It was great, you know, um, most of the game, we always chasing them, you know, um, we always down in the first half and stuff. But this game, we, we started great. We started with a great energy, um, especially defense brief. 
before the game, even before the game, we, we talk about it, just forget about offense. We just focus on defense and then, you know, look what happened. You know, we, we just won a game. So I think we should keep doing it um, this way and just locked in, especially like last minute, you know, the end of the games. Ava? Really, you got to start charging overtime for two languages. That's the only way. Ah. <laughs> um, just on, on your and Russ's relationship, you guys obviously have very different personalities as far as we know. Were you surprised at, at how well you guys have been meshing or how kind of effectively he's been able to communicate with you and, and kind of get, um, get you riled up at, at the right time? Wait, say it again. Co communicate with the just you on with you and Russ because it just oh, seems like you guys might have different personalities to us. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, he's very vocal, you know. He, I mean, I think it's, I don't know if it's a good thing or bad thing, but he talks a lot, you know. Um, but it's actually helping me. Um, he always try to communicate with me, with the team, the coaches, you know. Um, he does a lot of things for us, you know. It's not only the on the court, but like off the court, you know, trying to talk through, um, watch like film and stuff together. It's actually been helping, especially we have a lot of young guys. So, you know, we're still, we're still learning a lot of stuff. And like him, like he was an MVP, MVP, and he played for like 10 years, more than 10 years in the league. So uh, we, as a young guys, and including me, like it's actually been helping. Did you guys connect immediately? Like, was it as soon as he got here, you were like, yeah, that's my guy? Or how long did it take until you really started to trust him and, and kind of develop sure. that with you? He's a really friendly guy, you know. Um, he even it's not only basketball. He we can talk about the other stuff. Um, as soon as he got here, you know, he was a. I I knew like you know like I said before, but he changed the energy. You know, this team, we we had a more good energy um, off the court. He been on the court like you know we've been we've been having a good energy. You know, we today we had a, we showed it uh, from the beginning of the game and. We won a game today, so we gotta we gotta keep doing it. Russ, uh, how do you feel like you guys uh, started this game? Um, you know, obviously you guys built that that first half lead. What was the key to that? Uh, we defended. You know, that's gonna be the key to us. We played hard. Um, I think we put ourselves in position to be successful in the offensive end by getting stops. And it's it's, it's a lot easier to play when you don't gotta take the ball out of bounds every time. So that was helpful tonight. And after the comments you made to us last night about how you said you, you felt like it was up, it was on you, um, was was it your goal to kind of set a, a, a particular tone early in this game? Uh, definitely. Um, I mean, just that's what, what's needed. It's a part of my job. It's part of leadership. You, as the season goes on, you figure out what you need to do certain games, certain nights. And um, like I mentioned yesterday, um, I'll make sure that uh, I do my part and make sure that I can bring my teammates along, win or lose. Russ, for the next question, if you don't mind, just scooting forward just a little when you're answering. Volume's a little low. Uh, go ahead, Ava. Thanks, Russ. Um, I, we asked really a lot about you since you guys uh, um, talk a lot when we see it on the court. Did you guys immediately click? I remember I think you took Jenny and Rui to one of your charity events as soon as you got here. But um, how has that, I guess, relationship develop over time between you and Rui? Um... It just takes time. You know, when you get to a new team, you want to get an opportunity to be able to learn um, about a person, not just about basketball, but um, like about, like I've said before, uh, leadership starts off the floor. Um, on the court, I can, there's things that uh, I may see that can help them out. But for me, I want to be able to lead um, and leave an imprint on people that I meet, um, each individual, and make sure that um, when they come in kind of with me, they're able to learn and, uh, you know, take something from what I'm able to, to, to give them. So. Um, you guys, to us at least, correct me if I'm wrong, seem to have such different personalities. How long did it take until you figured out? You talk so much about how you kind of have to learn how different people communicate. How long did it take you to kind of figure really out that way? Um, it takes time. I mean, it just takes a little time where you get a chance to be around him um, and understand, you know, what he like, what he don't like, uh, where he's comfortable, where he's not comfortable. And for me, that helps me out a lot. Um, not just on the court, but just talking to him off the floor, explaining the game, understanding things that he may or may not know. Um, he's young. Um, and obviously I've been in the league for some time to be able to uh, know a little more about the game and the seasons and ups and downs. And that's part of my job as a leader. Thanks, Russ. Uh, 
Thanks, Russ. Neil. Hey, Russ. Brad described you guys having a different, you know, mindset defensively. Is that something that you guys you can sense before the game or very early on in the game that you guys have the right mindset? Um, you can sense it early. Uh, sometimes it may take a little longer to win games, but we picked it up later. But today you can sense it early that we were uh, locked in defensively um, and make sure we, we had a goal in mind. That was just to go out and defend and let the offense take care of itself.